going to talk about smoothing. So smoothing in ZBrush is really important. You're sometimes going to get these kind of ragged edges like this. And we have the option, just like we have the option to choose masking, we have the option to actually soften our sculpt. So if I hold the shift key, you're going to see that this will change blue. Okay, so our brushes are red. If I press the shift key, this will change this to a smooth brush. If you look over here and I hold the shift key, it turns blue, you're going to see that this changes to a smooth brush. Now if I click, if I hold the shift key and I just start to draw over this, it's smoothing it all out. You can also change the focal shift, draw size and the Z intensity of the smooth brush. And you also have different options of smooth brush that you can pick inside of here. So the smooth brush is used a lot for just cleaning up like these little lines that appear like in here. If I go over with a smooth brush, I can get rid of those and really clean the model up. So the smooth brush is very important. So again, you know, in here we have that option to be able to use the control key for masking, the shift key for smoothing and releasing all keys will get us back to our standard sculpting brushes. For instance, this area here could do with, with smoothing. So if I hold that shift key and I drag along there, I smooth that off in a matter of seconds. So the smooth brush is really important when you're sculpting inside of ZBrush.